Hello everyone, welcome to SciDemi, myself Sai, this is Linux class 1. In this class we are going to talk about what is operating system and how many types of operating systems we have and from where all these operating systems got emerged. Okay, so let's jump into our class. Now, here you can see operating system. So what is operating system? Operating system is an interface between user and computer. For example, this is user, this is computer, laptop. So this user cannot talk to this physical laptop. For example, myself, I can't talk to this physical laptop. Okay, it can't understand my language. So what I do here, I talk to OS. OS will talk to this laptop. Okay, same, I'll get reply in the same manner. So OS is a mediator between user and this computer. So in official terms, it is an interface between user and hardware, computer hardware. That is what operating system. Now we have so many operating systems out there in the world. Okay. So we are going to discuss all these things now and uh, we are going to dif discuss the differences among all these things. Okay, so operating systems. Fine. So, uh, tell me guys, how many operating systems are there in the world? How many computer operating systems are there in the world? We have only two computer operating systems in the world. Okay, only two. So, those are, the first one is Windows. And the second one is Unix. Only two. Okay, I am not talking about uh, mobile operating systems like Android and all. So we are we have only two computer operating systems in the world, core computer operating systems. First one is Windows, second one is Unix. What I'll do first, we'll talk about Windows. Then I'll compare this Unix with Windows so that you will understand better since most of you are familiar with Windows. Now you know that Windows belongs to Microsoft company, correct? So this is not at all free. If you want to get this OS, you need to buy. Okay, it is licensed one. That is first thing. Second thing, the source code they use it to create this operating system, the source code is not open to the world. Understood? That means even if you pay money, they will never provide that source code. So here you have to understand two things. The first one is OAC is not at all free. You need to buy. Second one is source code by using which they created this operating system that is not open to the world. That means even if you pay money, they will never provide that source code. Okay, that source code is with Microsoft company. So if you get this source code, you can modify that source code. You can modify this operating system, but you can't do it because they will never provide that source code. If at all someone can change this OS, who can change? Only Microsoft company can do it. Understood? Now, in this Windows, we have so many operating systems are there. We have many operating systems. Now I'm going to list a few operating systems. Uh, first one is, uh, earlier we used to have Windows 98, correct? Uh, then after that, uh, Windows XP. Then after that, uh, Windows um, 7, Vista was there. Now after that, uh, Windows 7. Then after that, Windows 8. And after that, we have Windows 8.1 also is there. Uh, now recently, everyone started using Windows 10. Okay, just I have listed few operating systems. Okay, now if you observe carefully here, here, see Windows 98, XP, Vista, 7, 8, and 10. In all these operating systems, core OS is pretty same, that is Windows only. That means if you observe here, you can see here Windows. Windows is common in all operating systems. Okay. That means 95% is pretty same. That's why if you know how to deal with any one OS here, you can very well handle all other operating systems. Okay. So you might have used earlier Windows 7, 
now you started using windows 8 now again we started using windows 10 further we did not join any course to learn these things correct or not that means what is happening here on top of 98 they added some new features that became xp on top of xp they added some more feature that became vista on top of vista they added some more feature that became 7 on top of 7 they added some more features either they are adding new features or they are removing old features okay so finally now we got 10 okay so in all these operating systems score os is pretty same that is windows that's why here 95 percent is pretty same okay so these operating systems we call desktop operating systems desktop why are we calling desktop operating systems because you can take any one operating system in this list you can install in your laptops desktops okay so in windows we have one more concept is there that is server operating system server operating system what is server see uh, my laptop is having 12 gb of ram server might be having 100 gb of ram my laptop is having 1 tb of hard disk server might be having 100 tb of hard disk in a simple term server is having high configuration for these high configured machines okay they are providing they means microsoft company they are providing different type of operating systems okay for these high configured machines so those are windows server 2000 earlier 2008 uh, after that uh, 2012 then after that uh, we have uh, yeah 2016 2016 now recently right now the latest one is windows 2019 okay so here also same thing guys no difference at all here also in all these operating systems core os is pretty safe that is windows only okay here you can see that is windows only here also if you know how to deal with any one os you can very well handle all other operating systems same on top of 2008 they added some features that became 12 on top of 12 they added some more features that became 16 that means either they are adding new features or they are removing old features here also 95 percent is pretty same that's why if you know how to deal with any one os you can very well handle all other operating systems because core os is pretty same understood now if you observe carefully in these two desktop and server operating systems in this entire scenario core os is windows only correct or not if you observe carefully here you can see here these two are pretty same okay that's why if you know how to deal with any one os in this entire setup you can very well handle all operating systems for that you need not to join any course okay so this is all about windows you know about windows now what i'll do i'll compare unix with windows so mostly people get confused what is you know unix what is linux all these things now i'm going to clarify all of your doubts now unix unlike windows unix is absolutely free that means if you want to get this os that is absolutely free you need not to buy okay it is openly available in internet you can download and you can install in your machines second thing unlike windows unix source code is open to the world that means anyone can take this source code anyone can modify as per their needs anyone can give their own name okay we can modify okay so two things you have to understand i'm repeating unlike windows unix is free unlike windows unix source code is open to the world since this source code is open to the world people started taking this source code people started adding their own features people started keeping their own name okay one person called Linus Torvalds. Okay, one person called Linus Torvalds. He took this open source Unix code. He modified as per his needs. He kept the name to that new version, new thing as Linux. Okay. So Linus Torvalds took this open source Unix, modified as per his needs. He kept his own name called Linux. So first three letters from his name and uh, last letter from 
this Unix that became Linux. Same like so many companies like you know IBM company you know right IBM company took this open source Unix modified as per their needs they kept their own name called AIX. Same HP company HP company took this open source Unix modified as per their needs they kept their own name called HP UX. Okay, so Mac company, you know, right? Apple, Apple company took this open source Unix and they modified, they added some new features as per their needs and they kept their own name called Mac OS or you can call iOS. Uh, you know, right? Sun Microsystem, that company took this open source Unix, modified as per their needs, they kept their own name called Solaris or you can call Sun Solaris. Okay, if you observe carefully all these operating systems here, you can see here. You can see this Linux, AX, HPUX, Mac OS, Solaris. In all these operating systems, core OS is pretty same. That is Unix only. That means here also 95% is pretty same. Okay. That's why if you know how to deal with any one OS here, you can very well handle all other operating systems. Why? Because core OS is pretty same. Yes, you can find small, small changes with respect to that extra 5%, whatever these guys added. Okay. Those you can able to figure out by yourselves. For that, you need not to join any course. Understood? Because core OS is pretty same. Command structure, everything is pretty same. Understood? Now, here, observe carefully here. Except this Linux, remaining all our companies, correct? Except this Linux, Remaining all our companies like IBM, HP company, Apple, Sun Microsystem. So your establishing one company means your aim would be to generate more profit, correct? To gain more revenues. If you want to generate more profit, how can you keep this operating system open to the world? Correct or not? That's why these guys, this IBM, HP company, Mac, you know, Apple company, Sun Microsystem, they did not keep these operating systems open to the world. But the person Linus Torvalds, he is very, very good person. What he did, he kept this Linux source code open to the world. Understood? So the Linus Torvalds took this open source Unix, modified as per his needs. He kept his own name called Linux. And again, he kept this Linux source code open to the world. Since it is again open, people started, some people and some companies started grabbing this open source Linux now. Okay. You know, right? Red Hat Company. So Red Hat company took this open source Linux, modified as per their needs, they kept their own name called Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We call RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Same, some companies, like see here, this is like many, many individuals and many companies took this open source Linux, modified as per their needs, they kept their own names. Okay, now I'm going to list all those things here. Okay, you know, right? CentOS. Okay, CentOS Community Enterprise Operating System. Community Enterprise Operating System. You, me, we all formed a group. Okay, we took this open source Linux, we modified as per our needs, we kept our own name called CentOS. Some people call CentOS, some people call CentOS. Okay. Same, we have Amazon Linux is there. Amazon company took this open source Linux, modified as per their needs. They kept their own name called Amazon Linux. Okay. Like we have uh, many operating systems like Fedora. Yes, Ubuntu is there. Very, very important. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Okay. So, Ubuntu. Same like some people took this open source Linux, they added some features, they kept the name called Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a famous African word, uh, it is having some beautiful meaning, meaning is it indicates teamwork and humanity. Okay, on that name, they kept the name called Ubuntu. Same like we have SUSE Linux, Kali Linux is there, Parrot Linux is there, so many operating systems are there. Understood everyone? Now observe carefully here. These are flavors of Linux and these are flavors of Unix, okay.
So in all these operating systems, core OS is Unix only, pretty same, right? That's why if you know how to deal with any one OS in this entire list, you can very well handle all other operating systems, okay? So small, small changes will be there, those with respect to 5% only, those you can able to figure out by yourself, okay? You need not to join any course for that, okay? Because core OS is same, Unix only, 95% is pretty same. That's why command structure, everything is almost same. Unix commands, Linux commands. Some people call Unix administration, some people call Linux administration. All are same, no difference at all. When I use the word Linux, that means I'm referring to any one operating systems in this list. Okay, any one. Okay, that could be Red Hat Linux, could be CentOS, could be Amazon Linux, could be any one OS. Understood? So this is all about operating systems. Okay, just remember one thing guys, we have only two core computer operating systems. One is Windows, another one is Unix. Understood? At least now you got the clarity, right? Especially with respect to Unix and Linux, from where all these operating systems got emerged and all right. Now I'll walk you through the slides which I have prepared. Now here you can see Unix and its flavors, Linux, Mac OS, you know, AIX, Solaris, HP UX. And these are the flavors of Linux. Red Hat Linux, CentOS, Ubuntu, uh, Amazon Linux, Fedora, Linux Mint, OpenSUSE. Like we have so many operating systems out there. Understood? So that is all about this Linux guys. I hope you understood what is operating system and from where all these operating systems got emerged, right? Windows operating systems and Linux operating systems. So here one more thing I would like to show you here. These uh, Windows operating systems here we call versions. Okay, Windows 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, these we call versions. But in here, in Unix, here we won't use the word versions. Here we use the word flavors. Why are we using the word flavors? Because here, you know, right, ice cream, core, OS is, core ice cream is pretty same. If you add mango color, that will become mango flavor. If you add chocolate color, that will become chocolate flavor. Here also same, core OS is Unix only. Different companies are adding different, different features, right? That's why we call these are the flavors. So these are flavors of Unix and these are flavors of Linux. But in Windows, we call these are versions because all are all belongs to the same company Windows. But in Unix and Linux, all belongs to different, different companies. Understood? Since all belongs to the same company in Windows, that's why we call these are versions. In Unix and Linux, these belongs to different, different companies. That's why here we use the word flavors. Understood? So that is all about operating systems. So I hope you like this video. In my next class, we are going to talk about advantages of Linux. Okay. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.